Rosie, where are you right now? I'm going out for coffee. Today is my best friend's birthday. I won't be at home for dinner tonight, so everyone at home eats first. I don't care where you go or whose birthday it is. What I care about right now is my money that you stole from me. Wait, what are you talking about? Stop pretending to be stupid and innocent. I really just cannot believe just how far you've fallen. It is really so sad. I expected so much more of you. And now you've gone and done something like this. What were you thinking? Did you really think that you wouldn't be caught? I mean, really, it is just pathetic. Not only have you lived with your parents for way too long, but you even went as far as to become a criminal. Do you just have no shame or anything? What is the matter with you? Excuse me, I don't know what you're talking about. I have no idea what you mean. I really just cannot believe how far you have fallen and how low you've sunk as a person. I'm just so sad and disgusted that I have anything to do with you. To think that I have to call someone like you my sister-in-law? I mean, it just does nothing but depress me and make me angry to be connected to you in any kind of way. Whoa, whoa. What are you saying? What is this all of a sudden? Why are you acting like I did something bad or like I'm a criminal? Why are you treating me like this? What do you mean, like? There is no other way to put it or describe it. You are a criminal and a thief. Don't even try to deny it or act surprised. I mean, seriously, you took money from my wallet without my permission or knowledge. I know you did. I have proof. No, really. What are you talking about? I never took any money from your wallet. You must be mistaken or confused. Maybe you misplaced it or spent it somewhere else. Just stop with your lies and excuses. I know that you took cash right out of my wallet when I wasn't looking. You just wanted to steal money because you're a recluse who works at home and barely makes enough to survive. You must have been desperate for money or greedy for more. And that is why you stole money from your own brother's wife, even though we all live in the same house and share the same roof. Look, I'm telling you that I never did anything like that, okay? You can't just go around accusing people of stealing from you without any evidence or reason. And I will also have you know that I make enough to live comfortably and happily. Thank you very much. I mean, how do you think I pay my monthly share of expenses, huh? Where do you think the money comes from? Enough, Rosie. You stole from me because you couldn't pay this month or because you wanted more money for yourself. You could have just told us that you did not have enough money to pay and we would have understood and helped you out. But no. You know, you have a lot of pride and arrogance for someone who won't even leave the house or socialize with anyone. What are you even talking about right now? You're making no sense at all. I'm telling you that you cannot just blame me for things without proof or logic. And I did not take your money. I have never even touched your wallet or seen it, much less ever gone into your room or snooped around your things. But on the first of this month, you were the only person at home, weren't you? So that means that the only person who could have stolen my money was you. It's obvious and clear. Is that really the only reason that you're trying to accuse me of this? That's ridiculous and absurd. Please. It was the perfect chance and opportunity to carry out your crime and get away with it. There is no use trying to lie about it or cover it up. You just work from home and don't have a real job or career. Stop pretending like you have any meaningful amount of money or success. You're just a woman past your prime who lives at home with your parents, barely making enough to get by. Admit it! What did you just say to me? Who do you think you are? How dare you talk to me like that? Well, it's true, isn't it? To think that you would steal from your own sister-in-law, who has been nothing but kind and generous to you, I just cannot believe you or trust you anymore. You do remember that I'm a lawyer, don't you? But you are really lucky that I also happen to be a very kind person with a big heart and forgiving nature. If you apologize to me sincerely and return the money that you stole, I will forgive you this time and let it go. You stupid girl! How could you do that? Fiona told me the truth! She told me everything that happened. Hurry up and return all the money you stole from Fiona. You have no right to take what is not yours. I said I didn't take it! Why do you keep accusing me without any clear evidence or proof? You can't just believe everything Fiona says. She's lying to you. Stop pretending and acting innocent. Fiona detailed everything to me. She told me how much money you took, when you took it, and where you hid it. 
The more you deny responsibility, the more disappointed I will be with you. You give Fiona back her money and apologize to her right now. And tell me, where did you run off to? Where are you right now? I didn't run off anywhere. I already told you that I was going out tonight to have dinner with a friend. I left after I finished the work I need to do at home. I'm just at the restaurant with my friend right now. We're having a nice time. So you're saying that you stole money from Fiona just so that you could go out for dinner with your friend? Is that what you're saying? That you used the money you stole to pay for your meal and have fun? What? No, I didn't take her stupid money. Fiona just insists that I did and won't even listen to me when I tell her that I did not. She's making up stories and trying to frame me. She's always been jealous of me. What are you talking about? You're so obvious when you lie. We all know that you took it. Honestly, what kind of a daughter did I raise that you would do such a thing? And then to turn around and lie without a second thought. You're nothing but a common criminal at this point. A thief and a liar. Mom, what are you even saying right now? How can you say such things to me? How can you be so mean and cruel? Even after Fiona told you she would forgive you if you just apologized and admitted your mistake, you insist on keeping up this charade. And not only that, but you go out with a friend using the money you stole. You better come home and say you're sorry to Fiona right now, or else there will be consequences. Hold on, Mom. You're not listening to me. I'm trying to tell you that I really did not do it. Why won't you believe me? I am your daughter. Why won't you trust me? Just stop it already, Rosie. I am sick of your lies and excuses. I cannot believe my own daughter is nothing but a criminal and a fraud. And besides, do you really expect me to trust a woman wasting away her best years working at home compared to a brilliant lawyer like Fiona? You must be crazy or delusional. You have got to be joking right now. I really cannot believe that you're going to listen to Fiona's nonsense over your own daughter. I'm telling you the truth right now. I swear on my life that I did not take any money from anyone. You have caused nothing but trouble for the whole family since you were little, do you know that? And now that you're an adult, you don't even try to find a real job or a career. Only ever working from home, doing some freelance work that barely pays anything. And even though your younger brother is already married and has a family of his own, you won't even bother looking for a man or settling down. Well, I have had enough, I tell you. The only daughter I have left is Fiona. You are nothing to me. Ruth, how could you say something like that? That really hurts my feelings. How could you be so cruel to your own child? I have let a lot of the nonsense you have pulled go up to now, but I cannot believe that you would sing so low as to steal from your own mother. Huh? Yes, that's right. You also stole money from my wallet too, didn't you? Well, I want you out of the house and don't ever think about coming back. Wait, what did you just say? You had money stolen from your wallet too? So two people who live in our house have had money taken from them. Don't you think that's suspicious? Don't you think maybe someone else is behind this? Don't you think maybe we should just call the police and let them handle this? What are you talking about? Calling the police would only result in you getting arrested and thrown in jail. Do you really think they would believe your lies over Fiona's evidence? Do you really think they would let you off the hook for your crime? How did I raise such a stupid girl? Mom, you need to seriously calm down and listen to me. I am trying to tell you that I was not the one who stole the money. I do not even need money. I am living comfortably and happily with what I earn. And I certainly never touched anyone's wallet or went into anyone's room. Please, Mom, you have to believe me. It's too late. I'm not in the mood for any more of your lies and drama. And I certainly won't be listening to anything you say. I'm just sick of it, Rosie. No wonder the puppy we adopted hasn't been able to settle down since we brought him home. He can't since there's a criminal in the house. What? Ruth, that is ridiculous. The dog hasn't settled down because none of you want to bother trying to train him or discipline him. None of you spend any time with him or play with him or walk with him. You just leave him there all alone all day. He's bored and lonely and frustrated. 
I have had just about enough of you, Rosie. I already told you that I want you out of the house. I refuse to live under the same roof as you, and you are upsetting the dog. I cannot even stand to be breathing the same air as you. Mom, you are being ridiculous right now. I cannot understand why you're acting this way. Why are you being so unreasonable and irrational? I didn't do it, I swear. Yoo-hoo! I just heard the news from your mother. I can't believe you're so stubborn and defiant. You're so cowardly that you won't admit your own fault. So I guess you're finally getting kicked out of the house, huh? It took long enough. I've been waiting for this day for so long. Your mother told me all about your little chat. It appears so. I tried to tell her what I told you, but she refused to listen. She's too blinded by your lies and manipulation. I'm just finishing up my dinner with my friend, and I'm about to head home now. I'll pack what I need and get out, just like she asked. But don't think for a second that this is over. I'll find a way to prove my innocence and expose your scheme. That's right. No matter how much you plead with anyone, no one is going to believe you. You poor little thing. Even though you really did not even steal anything, not even your own parents will believe you. <laughs> they all think you're a thief and a disgrace to the family. Excuse me? What did you just say? What do you mean? Even though I did not even steal anything, I already told you that I didn't do it. But someone did take the money from you, right? And you suspected me because I was the only one in the house at the time that you think it was stolen, right? I said all that, but it was all a lie. A little white lie. I told you so that I could finally get you out of the house. You see, I never had any money stolen from me. I made it all up. And your mother's money too. It was all a part of my plan to get rid of you. Are you being serious? Right now? What is wrong with you? How could you do something like that? But the funniest part is that everyone believes me and not you. I mean, I barely even had to do any convincing to get your mother to believe me. She trusts me more than she trusts you. You really need more trust in your family, I think. <laughs> None of them believe anything you say to them. Why, Fiona? Why would you do all of this? Do you really hate me so much that you want me out of the house? I don't understand. I thought we were all getting along. I already told you why I did all of this. Because you were bothering me and I wanted you out of the way. Your parents are already so nice to me. They treat me like their own daughter. They love me more than they love you. But with you gone, they will care about me even more now. They will give me all their attention and affection. That's why I need to get you out of the picture. Wow, I think you have some serious mental health issues if that is the reason you went so far as to falsely accuse someone of a crime. You may not like it, but what's done is done. Ever since I was little, I have always been bad at sharing attention with others. That is why I always had to be the best in everything, so people would like me more than they like others. I only want people to notice me and admire me and love me. And that is why you went so far as to get me kicked out of my own home? You have a serious case of narcissism and insecurity, Fiona. Well, I'll just send these messages to my mother then. What do you think of that? What do you think's gonna happen to your little plan then? Send all the screenshots you want. It won't change anything. Your mother has already made up her mind about you being a criminal and a liar. Do you really think she's going to believe anything else you say to her now? Besides, I'll just tell her that you doctored those screenshots and that they're fake. What is wrong with you? Since when did you become such a cruel, awful person? That is a level of trust your mother has in me compared to you. This is the difference between a brilliant lawyer like me and a shut-in like you who works from home doing some meaningless work that nobody cares about or respects. You never even stood a chance against me. I really hate to admit it, but you're probably right about that. None of my family ever had any interest in the kind of work that I do or appreciated my talents or achievements. And they certainly do like you for your impressive job and salary and status. Now, your mother thinks of me as more of a daughter than you. You don't even have a family anymore. How does it feel to be so abandoned and alone? You have nothing left. I have everything I've ever wanted. They all think that you're a criminal and want nothing to do with you anymore. Nobody trusts you and wants you here, so just leave. All right. I'll be gone in ten minutes. Enjoy your lonely life. Anyways... I'll be getting home in about three minutes. I'm going to pack up my things and get out as fast as I can. 
but don't think that this is the end of it. I'll find a way to clear my name and make you pay for what you did. And once you go, I never want to see you here again. Nobody wants a criminal like you under this roof ever. You're not welcome here anymore. Well, now that you'll have kicked out your bothersome sister-in-law, I imagine you must be overjoyed. Although, I do not think your plan is going to go how you think it will. The day will come when everybody will know the kind of person that you truly are. Your lies and schemes will be exposed, and you will lose everything you have. Oh please, you're talking like a sore loser. You do not have any proof of what I did. Meanwhile, every member of your family is on my side and loves me more than they ever loved you. I'm never going to be caught or exposed. I'm too smart and cunning for that. Okay then, and what if I did have proof? Proof that couldn't be denied or dismissed. Proof that would show everyone the truth. What would you do then? Your whole evil little plot and all the things we do not even know about would come to light. What? What are you talking about? You sound like a crazy person. Just accept that you'll never be able to beat me and that I have won. Honestly, did you really think you had a chance against an elite lawyer such as myself? You're delusional, Rosie. You'll see. Your day will come, Fiona. And when it does, I'll be there to watch you fall. Anyways, good night. Hello, Rosie. It has been a while since we last spoke. How is living on your own going? Are you having any trouble? You look so thin and pale. Are you eating well? Oh, don't act like you care now. Do you have any idea just how much you hurt me when you kicked me out? You made me feel like I was nothing to you. Like I was a mistake that you wanted to erase. You are still my daughter. I still care about you. Are you getting bored of eating all by yourself? Why don't you come eat with us? I can make you whatever you want. Your favorite lasagna or maybe some chicken soup. Just please come see us. I miss you so much. What is with this sudden change of heart? I thought I wasn't even your daughter anymore. Do you really think this is going to work on me? That I'm going to forgive you just because you offer me some food? You can't buy my love, Ruth. What are you talking about? Of course, I am your mother. And you are my daughter. It's only natural that I should worry about you. You're my flesh and blood, Rosie, you know? Are you serious right now? Ruth, you treated me like a criminal and kicked me out of the house. You told me that you never wanted to see me again. You broke my heart, Ruth. So I really do not feel like sitting down to have dinner with you, okay? I have my own life now, and I don't need you in it. Oh, come on, Rosie. Don't say such things. If you're not in the mood for dinner, then what if I took you shopping? We could go to that little boutique you like so much. The one with the cute dresses and accessories. Maybe we could find something nice for you to wear. Wouldn't that be fun? This reeks of desperation, Ruth. I already told you that I do not want to see you. Goodbye, and don't bother calling or texting me again. Rosie, please, you have to help me. I'm in big trouble and I don't know what to do. What is all this now? Why do you think I want anything to do with you ever again? You're the reason why I left that house in the first place. Please, I'm in a real bind. It's so bad. All the money from Ruth's wallet has gone missing and everyone thinks that it was me who did it. They're going to call the police on me, Rosie. They're going to send me to jail. And let me guess, you want me to come forward and tell everyone that I did it, huh? But that would not even work. I have already sworn never to go back to that house, so it has to be someone else. Someone who still lives there. Someone like you, perhaps? But, Rosie, you knew all about the cameras this whole time, didn't you? You set up the cameras and around the house, and they must have caught me taking the money from the wallet. You must have seen the footage by now. You must know that it was me. Oh, so then, they do not so much suspect you of stealing, as much as they know it, sounds like. Well, that's too bad for you, isn't it? Maybe you should have thought twice before taking something that wasn't yours. Just answer the question. Did you know about the cameras? Did you set them up? Of course I knew all about them. My mom asked me to buy and set them up when we got the dog so we could see what it did while it was home alone. She thought that if it did something funny, we might be able to make a YouTube channel out of it or something. She was always looking for ways to make some extra money. Well then just how many cameras did you buy for the house? 
I would say that I bought around five. I made sure to put them in places where they would look the most natural and not stand out so much. I even bought a few hidden cameras. I think about two in the living room and three others around the house. One in the kitchen, one in the hallway, and one in your bedroom. You set up five cameras in the house? And one in my bedroom? That's an invasion of privacy, Rosie. But my mom has always been the type to give up easily. So I was worried that after I left, she would stop checking them. I'm glad to hear that she at least remembered to check this time and that she caught you red-handed. Please, Rosie, you have to help me come up with some kind of excuse. Tell her that you forced me to steal the money from her. Tell her that you threatened me or blackmailed me or something. Oh, don't be stupid. I'm not going to be doing something like that. All that you've been doing is finally about to blow up in your face. I would suggest begging for mercy. After all, it was you who stole that money from Ruth back then, wasn't it? What? No, of course it wasn't me. I wouldn't do something like that. Everyone is just assuming it was me because they don't like me. Well, you know how these things go. Nobody's going to believe the person they suspect did it. If you recall, that's exactly what happened to me when you accused me of stealing from Ruth's purse. But you cannot just leave things like this. Please, you have to help me. I'm desperately begging you here. I need your help, Rosie. Of course I can. I can leave things wherever I want. And I would never, ever help you in a million years, just so you know. Anyways, good luck with convincing my mother it wasn't you who stole her money. I'm sure she will be as understanding to you as she was to me when you accused me of stealing. Rosie, I am so sorry for not believing you back then. It was wrong of me to keep blaming you. Everyone wants to apologize to you, so please, come back to us. We miss you so much. We want to make it up to you. Excuse me? You want me to come home? I'm glad you finally realize I'm innocent, but I have no intention of coming back. It's far too late for that. You've already lost my trust and respect. Oh, come on, Rosie. Don't be like this. I mean, who could have suspected that Fiona, the lawyer, was the one behind it this whole time? She seems so successful and respectable. Speaking of Fiona, she's also so sorry and was reflecting hard about what she'd done. She said that the stress of her job started to get to her, and the theft became a kind of outlet for her. So you see, it really is nobody's fault. It was just all a big misunderstanding. Can we just put all of this behind us and be a family again? Is that what she came up with as an excuse? And you really believed all of that, Ruth? Wow. That is just... Wow. Yeah. I don't even really know where to begin with that. How can you be so gullible and biased? What do you mean? Why shouldn't I believe her? We are all family. It's our job to try and be understanding of one another. Wow, she is really good at milking this whole lawyer thing, huh? It must make it so easy to get anyone to believe what she says. I never got that kind of benefit of the doubt from my job. You always looked down on me for what I did and made me feel like I was worthless and a failure. Oh, come on. She is a lawyer. Of course her job would be stressful. That should be easy to see, don't you think? But what else would you expect of a job that pays so much? I'm sure that the kind of stress she must have been under is the kind of which we couldn't even imagine. We should support her as a member of the family. But isn't she not even a lawyer anymore? I mean, she is unemployed. What kind of stress could she really be under? Wait, what do you mean unemployed? I don't understand. Explain yourself. Well, recently for work, I had to do a couple interviews with a few offices in town, and I heard something very interesting. I was told that Fiona was stripped of her license to practice law. Wait, what? What are you talking about? I haven't heard anything about this. What happened? From what I gathered, there was some kind of scandal, and she was disbarred. Wait just a second. What are you talking about? What kind of work were you doing with these law firms? What kind of scandal? Oh, right. You and the family were always so busy belittling the work I did at home that you never even bothered paying attention to what it is that I actually do. I am a screenwriter. I usually write anonymously or with a pen name, but I make a living writing scripts for TV shows. You do? Since when? Why didn't you ever tell any of us? That sounds like a fantastic job. 
I'm pretty sure I did tell you. Anyway, right now I am writing some things for a legal drama, so I was asking questions to make sure my writing was accurate. One of the places I contacted was Fiona's firm, but when I asked about her, they said that she didn't work there anymore. I asked if they could give any more details, and that they told me that she was caught stealing money out of a co-worker's purse and got fired for it. I don't believe this. This cannot be happening. It doesn't make any sense. She tried to pretend like she was being framed and gave a bunch of excuses, but none of them flew in an office full of other lawyers. They took her to court and in the end, she got disbarred. I guess she really has just been pretending to be a lawyer since then, but who knows what she really has been up to? Perhaps this is also the reason why she wanted to kick me out of the house to take this house for her own. No, that cannot be. Wait just a moment. Are you telling me that not only is Fiona no longer a lawyer, but that she was disbarred for stealing? I just know that she stole from a coworker and that somehow led to her getting disbarred. Anyways, I don't want to live with someone like that, so I have no intention of going back home. Not only that, but I have no interest in living with parents who wouldn't even believe their own daughter. So you mean to say that Fiona, who is making so much money as a lawyer, was stealing? I know you must be really crushed about it, huh? You're always bragging about her to anyone who would listen. But yeah, I'm sure it was just the stress of her job. Or at least she knew that was an excuse she could use so that you would forgive her. Wow. My family can be so understanding and forgiving when they want to be. Anyways, wishing all the best for you. After a lot of pressure from my mom, Fiona finally broke down and told the truth. She confessed that she had been addicted to gambling at the casino ever since she lost her job as a lawyer. She had been lying to everyone about still working and spending all her savings and income on the slot machines and poker tables. My parents and my brother were stunned by this revelation. He said he couldn't stay married to her anymore and wanted to file for divorce. But she refused to accept that and said that he had no right to leave her just because she was unemployed. She also warned him that if he tried to divorce her, she would sue him for everything he had and make his life miserable. They had a huge argument about it that lasted for hours. I saw it all on the pet cameras, which I still had access to since I was the one who set them up. I would watch them sometimes and see my mom and Fiona screaming and cursing at each other and throwing dishes and bases at each other. One day, when the house was empty, I decided to take matters into my own hands and rescue the poor puppy that they had bought but never cared for. Now, we are living happily by ourselves in a cozy apartment. He is the best friend I ever had.